Did you hear? Another war coming on. Yeah, looks like both Rollins and Highland are ready to take the kid gloves off. It's gonna get ugly. Yeah, and I hear it's all going down at Glavin Basin. This is too good. Damn straight. Food and weapons. Medicine and coffins. We're gonna make a fortune. Another war? <laughs> this is bad. If any more malevolence collects... That's probably exactly what he wants. You mean Heldolf, yeah? Let's go take a look. Sounds like it's around Glavend Basin. All right! I finally found where he's located. Hey! Careful! You okay? Thank you. I'm a bit weary from my journeys. But it's time to settle the scores. Gotta hurry to the cat's corner. Turtles? He's still hurt? He's going to Cat's Corner, huh? Is he going to have a duel there? It's the illusionary village where cats live. <laughs> it might become a huge cat and turtle free-for-all. So, I wonder, where exactly is this Cat's Corner? I've never heard of it before. I don't know much either. We're gonna have to do some research. Hmm. Let's start by asking Seraphim who are knowledgeable about regional lore. Good idea. Guardian Seraphim are more likely to know something about the lore or legends.
I can't believe it. Both of the Medusa-type Hellions are... They're probably Cardinal Fortin's sisters. Are you sure? It seems like too much of a coincidence. Well, the only way to learn the truth is to ask the Hellions themselves. But how? If we're right, then I'm guessing they've gone back to their hometown. A gut feeling? Sort of, yeah. Just a hunch based on how humans think. Well, it's not impossible, psychologically speaking. <laughs> Halfway logic is better than no logic at all. And Rose's gut hasn't led us astray yet. But we can't go there right now. Glavin Basin is currently closed off. So, we'll have to sit tight and wait for an opportunity, huh? So Maltran's fellow knights turned into Hellions and attacked her. Were they jealous of her fame and exploits? People tend to resent those who excel, even if they may be allies. That's even how military officers lose their lives on the battlefield sometimes. That's just brutal. But Maltran is alive, right? I wonder what did happen. That might have been the moment she herself turned Hellion. Or she could have been one from the start. We don't know the exact source of her malevolence, but we do know she has extraordinary combat skills. Indeed. It could be that the malevolence she emitted intensified that of the surrounding area, causing her fellow soldiers to become Hellions. It's a chicken and egg scenario. Won't do any good to ponder it. Either way, Maltran was already a Hellion when she first met Alicia. I imagine it will be hard on Alicia when she finds out. Sheesh! Letter from Debbie! She wants her downers back! Come on! That means Alicia spent all those months next to a super grody Hellion, and yet she didn't absorb a lick of malevolence! How awesome is she? That's right. We gotta think positively. Damn straight! Chicken, egg, it's all the same once you've gobbled it down. I... I think that's still positive. <laughs>
Reporting casualties for the Blue Tempest Knights. 118 wounded, 30 dead. Report. Approximately 50 casualties on the enemy side. Is it over already? Don't kid yourself. It's no more than a skirmish along the front lines. If both armies were clashing full on, the body count wouldn't be anywhere near this low. This low? Where are the Platinum Knights? Sir, they're still struggling to evacuate Lastenbell. Can't they see there's no time? Saray, there's no point in just staying here. The Platinum Knights are in Lastenbell. Let's go see Sergei. Yeah. We were all <clears throat> captured in Pentrago. They said we murdered the Cardinal at the behest of the Kingdom of Highland. <laughs> what? But I was the one who... It was Lunar. He approached the Empire and suggested they frame it this way. Of course, the Empire was just itching for a justification to launch a war. If they could tell the world that Highland had assassinated their Cardinal... Almost too perfect. Lunar laid an ambush for us. If Egil hadn't shielded me, I would have... I'm sorry. I couldn't do anything but run away. We knew this might happen sooner or later. Part of the job description. But still... Rose, you should go. But we have to stop the war! We all know what they'll do now that they've trumped up a justification. Dispose of the evidence. You can't leave them like that, can you? After all, they're your family. You said it yourself, didn't you? You and I have two very different jobs. Thank you. I'll be back. What about us? Should we be rescuing the scattered bones or stopping this war? Both are vital, but we can't be in two places at once. Sergei's in Lastenbell. Alicia's probably at the Highland Army base. Then... If I remember correctly, wasn't there some kind of cave or something leading to Highland around here? Right, the Lamarack Cave.
Cleo, I made this for you. Prepare for the assault. Once we receive the royal order, our entire forces will destroy the Roland's army. My, my, Shepard Saray. Welcome to our base. Perfect. We are moments from receiving the royal order authorizing our assault. And the messenger will be an old friend of yours. You can't mean... You're making Alicia do that? It's cruel of Bartlow, but still an ingenious plan. If she brings the order, the war is on. And should she refuse, he can have her court-martialed for treason. I can only imagine her dismay. You disgust me. Will you attack me? Please, be my guest. Then I could reasonably claim that spies from Rollins were in our camp. No need to wait for a royal order. <sighs> Looks like the odds are stacked against us. We're going to need Alicia's help to hold back the army. Alicia, is it? Go ahead and try then. I'm very curious. Alicia wasn't at the army base. Let's check over at Lady Lake. But if we get Alicia involved, we'll have no choice but to tell her that Maltran is a Hellion. She'd be hurt for sure. I'm aware, but there's no other choice.
How dare you obstruct our glorious battle! You're a disgrace to Highland! What's gotten into you? Alicia! Burning red, Saray? We'll talk later. Are we good, Lila? Uh, yes, I've reactivated her squire's pack. Hey, a princess. Name's Avid. Nice to meet you. You're right. That look in your eyes says you have a question. No, I think I'll focus on the battle for now. No escape! It's over! Right foot! Right foot! It's over! What brought us here? I see. Zavid always talks about himself. <laughs> we'll fill her in later. Why were those soldiers attacking you? Probably because I've been stalling the war. I have yet to deliver the royal order authorizing our attack. And they hate and resent you that much? You can see for yourself. There's not a thing in the world that can prevent this war now. You're giving up? What else can I do? What else do you expect me to do? The king has commanded that we launch an attack on Rollins. An official royal order has already been issued. If that dumb piece of paper's causing you all that grief, why don't you just chuck it? Just chuck it? What exactly do you mean by chuck it? Just what I said. Tear up the damn thing like it never existed. I can't. You can't expect Alicia to do something like that. Hey, no pressure. I don't mind seeing her beautiful face all scrunched up in pain. No. Saray, I think perhaps the only way to stop this war is to do as Zavid suggested. Would you be willing to assist me in this? Are you sure about this? You would be rebelling against your own country. I know the risks. All right. Well, if Alicia's made up her mind, we can't refuse her, can we? Zavid, may I trust you in this matter as well? I can't decline a heroic princess. Your face looks better with a smile on it anyway. One ray of hope is that Lady Maltran is the one commanding our army. She is bound to cooperate with us. What's wrong? I hate to tell you this, but Maltran's not gonna help you. She is a Hellion. She serves the Lord of Calamity. She was the one pushing for war in the first place. Edna! We had to tell her at some point. Yeah, better she hear it now than get stabbed in the back later. That can't be true! Don't you even dare joke about such a thing! Alicia, please calm down. No, Lady Maltran. She always encouraged me, even when... I apologize. I will see Lady Maltran and verify this for myself. Back to that scrunched up face of hers.
Hey, are your eyes okay? It's fine. My vision's good. Oh, good. So that means you've become stronger. Just a little bit blurry is all. A little bit? That could cost you your life in battle. Perhaps. But this is something you need to see through. To the end. Well, I... We've got way more important things to worry about. Saray needs you. Nothing will change that. Let's go, Alicia. Okay. You've toughened up a bit yourself. Yes, I've been undergoing intensive training. Under Lady Maltran. Oh, I see. Snacks are done. finally figured out who I really am. Why? For the ideals I cherish most. Now, messenger, the royal order, if you please. We have a war to start. <sighs> then I'll take it by force. This way, too many prying eyes out here.
How? How could she? Alicia. Lila, what type of Hellion is Maltran? I... I honestly cannot tell you for sure. So all we know is she's one to watch out for, huh? A strong, sexy lady. I'm not seeing the downsides myself. Let's be quick about this. I have other work to attend to. Why, Lady Maltran? Why? You are disgracefully slow to catch on. <sighs> what you see before you is reality and truth. One who cannot accept reality for what it is has no hope of being a leader to the people. I acknowledge my lack of resolve, but... Then you should have realized by now that your naive ideals have no meaning whatsoever in this present state of affairs. Not to the kingdom, not to the citizenry, certainly not to me. Then... then why did you act so encouraging and supportive to me all this time? Because you served two vital functions. One of which was your utility in getting Highland and Rollins to finally clash with their full military might. Your incessant whining was just the thing to provoke Bartlow and the others to action. Uh, uh. Alicia's ideals do hold meaning and value. That's right. Saray believes in her, even if you don't. And he isn't the only one. I'm giving my dear pupil her final lesson. Kindly stay out of this. What, you can't deal with reality and truth? So many empty words. Who's slow to catch on now? A fair point. No need to exchange words when blows will suffice. For your other vital function. Stand back, Alicia! All right. Go, go, go. I can do this! Your technique is appalling, Alicia. Lila, what's her weakness? I don't know. Oh, I can't tell. She's a hellion, but she's suppressing her nature. Lightning 
Letting you purify me. What truly needs purification is this entire world. Please, Lady Maltran, stop! You are just being deceived by the Lord of Calamity! <laughs> you are soft to the core, aren't you? Of all your flaws, that might be. What I hate about you the most. <gasps> this is reality, Alicia. I have proven my dedication to my lord. I have no regrets. I can't do this. I can't! I can't! I want to go home! I don't care about all this anymore! About the war, about our nation, about our people! I'm sick of their gossip, their mockery, their lies! Everything! I quit! I'm done being a princess, being a knight! Barlow and his goons can do whatever they want! I've tried so hard for everyone. <laughs> what good did it do? And <laughs> still I... And yet, you still want to stop the war, right? I feel just like you, in a lot of ways. The strength of a knight exists to protect their kindness serves the people. Lady Maltran's words still linger in my ears. I know she undoubtedly meant nothing by it. Just some pretty nonsense to lead me on. Maybe. But even if she did, you took those words to heart, didn't you? And the Alicia standing right here is as real as it gets. You can count on it. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see this side of my reality. Let me see what I can do about the Highland Army. I'm naive and soft and whiny enough to think it'll work. That's just who I am. Young folks, always with the melodrama. Sorry about that. What? Are you crying too? It's so beautiful. You say something? Nothing. Nothing. 
Do you think Sergei will be able to stop the Roland's army? It'll be all right. Sergei will do it no matter the cost. And that just makes me worry even more. The vanguard of the Roland's army is probably at last in Bell by now. Why don't we go check it out? I wonder what Rose is up to. I hope she isn't doing anything unwise. It'd be unwise to hope for that at all. If it bugs you that much, why don't you go to Pendrago? Maltran said something about Alicia serving two purposes for her. What do you think the other one was? If I had to guess... Judging from what we know of the aims of the Lord of Calamity... She was to be a tool to stain Saray with malevolence. Most likely by killing her, though we avoided it at the last minute. How could anyone be so... <sighs> Hey, maybe it was just that she got off on the academic thrills of teaching swordplay to an eager pupil. You're the worst, Zavid. Go die, like right now. I'm going to glare dot 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 at you right now so hard! Well, excuse me for trying to ease the tension. <laughs>